What's up everyone? Winterizing a swamp cooler will get the device ready for the winter months where it will not be used. It can also prevent issues such as broken pipes, rust, and mold from appearing in your cooler. To keep the cooler in optimum condition, you should winterize it properly before the first frost hits. If you've never done that before, it can seem complicated or just plain confusing. Well, you clicked the right video. Before this tutorial ends, you'll know the basics and be ready to winterize your swamp cooler properly on your own. If you want more information or further detailed steps, check out the links in the description below. If you have tips or tricks to make this easier or have another video you'd like to see, let us know by leaving a comment down below. So grab a snack or a drink and the necessary supplies and get comfy. Here we go! Step 1. Unplug your cooler. As you are unlikely to be using your swamp cooler for a few months, we advise cutting its power completely. Step 2. Shut off the water supply valve. If you live in a climate where temperatures drop severely, it is a good idea to shut off the water supply valve. At this point, you should also drain your water line. To drain the water line, detach the hose at both ends. Blow firmly into one end to force out any remaining water. Store in a cool and dry place. Step 3. Drain the water tank. Use pliers or a wrench to open the drain at the base of the tank. If you cannot do this, use a cup to empty the tank slowly. Soak up any remaining water with absorbent towels or sponges. And then, scrub the interior of the cooler with a stiff bristled brush. Clean it with white vinegar and warm water. Rinse well and rub dry with a cloth. Leave the drain open in case any water enters the tank while it is not in use. Step 4. Change your evaporative cooling pads. Replacing them now can help to reduce rust buildup. If you have not replaced the cooling pads before, you may need to use garden shears or large scissors to cut the pads away from the frame. Pull them out and use them as a guide to cut some new replacement pads. Insert the new pads where the old one sat. Step 5. Cover your cooler. You should ensure that your cover fits tightly and has ties. This will allow you to secure it against the elements. Check to see if your cooler has a damper. This is a closable section that stops warm air from the house from escaping through the ducting. That's all there is to it. Now that you know how to winterize swamp coolers, give it a shot. If you thought this video was helpful, please press the like button and subscribe. If you have further questions, let us know in the comments below or check out the links in the description. Thanks for dropping by and we'll see you on our next video.